Most of eastern Oregon and southeast Washington have been under winter's grasp the past week with cold Arctic air and snow. The cold air trapped at the surface will have a huge role in the potential for freezing rain late Wednesday into Thursday morning. The topic of this presentation focuses on the freezing rain forecast and the challenges forecasters will face this week to determine when freezing precipitation will change over to rain as warm air spreads across Oregon and Washington. Let's begin by discussing just how cold the air mass is over eastern Washington and eastern Oregon. The image you see here is the low temperatures reported this morning. Lows this morning were well below freezing for most of the area. However, look at these areas shaded in green in the higher mountains. They are above freezing. This means that our forecast area is under a strong inversion. That is, there is warmer air in the upper atmosphere and very cold air towards the surface. To illustrate an inversion, take a look at this virtual temperature profile at 12 p.m. this afternoon near Pendleton. Focus on the solid black line. The x-axis are temperatures. The blue line is 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Along the y-axis of this graph are station IDs beginning with a K or L and their elevations. For example, KPDT is the temperature observation at the Pendleton Airport with an elevation slightly under 1,500 feet mean sea level, which is currently at 17 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see, the temperature basically rises as you get higher in the atmosphere. The temperature is above freezing, above 4,500 feet. An inversion acts to trap very cold air near the surface. When you consider terrain like the lower Columbia Basin, surrounded by mountains, the cold air is much harder to scour out. This is very important to remember as I discuss the approaching warm front late Wednesday into Thursday. The approaching system currently off the Pacific Ocean will spread moisture across central Oregon Wednesday afternoon. By 4 p.m. Wednesday afternoon, forecasters are anticipating a 20 to 40 percent chance of precipitation from Madras southward. At the same time, here are the temperatures that are forecast for Wednesday afternoon. Snow levels will increase to around 5,000 to 6,000 feet in the southern half of Oregon by late Wednesday afternoon. Warm air will allow temperatures to increase to above freezing in central Oregon, but notice the cold air still remaining trapped in north central Oregon. It is a tricky forecast for Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Although the warm front does not have a lot of moisture and will be moving fast enough that ice accumulations are not expected to be more than a tenth of an inch, roads will be slick. Freezing rain is forecast for Wednesday night and Thursday morning for the Eastern Columbia River Gorge, the Lower Columbia Basin, the Blue Mountain Foothills, the Grand Ronde Valley, the Wallowa Imnaha Valleys, the Kittitas and Yakima Valleys, the Tai Valley, and the Simcoe Highlands. Precipitation will taper off on Thursday. The tough decision that forecasters will need to make is whether the cold air will mix out enough to allow temperatures to rise above freezing. For most of the area, the answer is yes. However, it may be a gradual warm-up for the lower Columbia Basin and surrounding valleys. Therefore, expect roads and walking surfaces to be icy through most of the day on Thursday. Here are some safety tips for the upcoming freezing precipitation. Avoid driving late Wednesday through Thursday. Do your errands now or wait until Friday when temperatures rise above freezing in the lower elevations. If you must drive, drive slowly and avoid hitting your brakes. Never follow too close behind a vehicle. Your braking distance is considerably longer on icy roads. Walking will be hazardous where freezing rain occurs. De-ice services before the storm hits. Wear traction shoes. 
The elderly will need special assistance and should avoid walking outside in icy conditions. This concludes the video briefing. The National Weather Service is available 24-7 and will provide updates as the storm approaches. You can also get the latest updates on weather.gov, Facebook, and Twitter. On behalf of the National Weather Service in Pendleton, I want to thank you for listening.